السلام عليكم. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in Arabic and Hebrew, wishing peace be upon you. And while this is not a peace treaty, it is a historic moment, with two Arab nations on a path to recognizing Israel. The White House broker deal is a rare diplomatic breakthrough for the Trump administration just weeks before an election. President Trump said more Arab nations are set to join. Uh, but we'll have at least five or six countries coming along very quickly. And we're already talking to them. And they want to see peace. You know, they've been fighting for a long time. They're tired. They're warring countries, but they're tired. They're tired of fighting. And uh, so you're going to be seeing uh, further announcements. The fact that both the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain were represented by their foreign ministers and not heads of state signals the divisions in their respective nations over this deal. Saudi Arabia has remained silent on the move to recognize Israel without a deal with the Palestinians. And much of the Arab world is suspicious. But the UAE foreign minister heralded the deal. We are witnessing today a new trend that will create a better path for the Middle East. The Emiratis stressed that this deal with Israel rested on the Netanyahu government freezing the planned annexation of occupied Palestinian territory settled by Jewish families. Israel has not made a full public commitment on that front, and Bahrain's foreign minister stressed that Israel could only find true peace in the region when Palestinians had a fully functioning state of its own, existing side by side with Israel, the long, elusive two-state solution. The Palestinians, however, have called this move by the two Arab nations a stab in the back. But this diplomatic move is more about Iran than anything else. Both Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates fully endorsed the tough Trump administration policy and the Israeli policy of isolating Iran and the U.S. withdrawal from the nuclear deal. You could see this diplomatic prize as a reward for those efforts. Nathan King, CGTN at the White House.